Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've gotten tens of thousands of requests to make this video, so here it is, the latest TikTok algorithm update. And I'm getting rid of the intro to my video, so if you don't know who I am, I'm the CEO of helping you grow on TikTok. If you don't believe me, look to the right if you're on a computer, look below you if you're on a mobile device, and you'll see all my videos about growing on TikTok. Make sure you guys stick around for the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing with you a checklist that you need to make sure you're following within this latest algorithm update so that you could get more views, more likes, and more followers. That being said, let's get right into it because TikTok has made a a ton of changes that every single creator on the app needs to be aware of. First off, they're done shadow banning people for a single violation. If you get one copyright or you have one video taken down, they're not gonna automatically shadow ban you like they have been in the past. Obviously, with so many people on the app now and they've been getting a ton of violations and people appealing those violations and winning, they're gonna be less strict about this. No, this does not mean that they're changing their guidelines. It just means that you won't be shadow banned as quickly. So please, stop emailing me, stop DMing me. If you have one video taken down or one copyright, no, it's not the end of the world. Just just appeal it if it's a video taken down, if it's a copyright, no big deal, no harm, no foul. That being said though, do not be a repeat offender of this, because then they'll definitely shadow ban you. Next, and this is a really, really big one, they're gonna stop making people go viral when they have less than five posts. The days of you just downloading TikTok, starting a new account and posting and getting a ton of views, those days are gonna be over. The reason being, there are so many new people coming onto the app, they're not doing that anymore because they've had a ton of people come on the app, post something that should not have been posted, the post gets blown up, and then guess what happens? TikTok is in deep sh as a result of that. So that being said, it's gonna start to change and be like a lot more other algorithms where you need to consistently feed it good content and you need to build a rapport with the algorithm and then they're gonna start to push your stuff out. That being said, I do not wanna scare anybody. I do not want anybody to think that TikTok's going away, the TikTok magic is going away. It's not going away at all. TikTok is still the biggest opportunity ever to grow a following on social media. All this means is that your terrible content in the beginning is not gonna get pushed. You just need to make more TikTok native content. You need to get better at making content and then you'll still have the opportunity to to get on the For You page and grow like crazy. Trust me, it is still 100% possible. I have several people every single day signing up for the mentorship program, signing up for my accelerator program, and some of them are blowing up. And I just stubbed my toe so bad. Give me a second. I need to collect myself. Okay. So I really do want to emphasize that TikTok, this opportunity is not going away. You can still get incredibly famous on the app, build a huge audience. It's just going to take a little bit more work. And the reason that they're doing this, which I'm not going to mention, but it is a macro climate thing where so many more people are on the app. You guys know why more people are on the app. Not going to mention it because then YouTube's going to demonetize this video. So I'm not going to mention it, but you guys know there are a ton of people on the TikTok app now. Back when you're on TikTok before, two months ago, three months ago, before this whole thing happened, happened. You were weird. Why are you on TikTok? You're a weirdo. You're on TikTok. Now it's cool to be on TikTok. Your aunt's on TikTok. Your mom's on TikTok. Your sister's on TikTok. Your grandma might be on TikTok. Everybody's on TikTok now. The cat is out of the bag. This is the place to be. And honestly, I think it's a way bigger opportunity now than it ever has been before. But that being said, TikTok does need to implement more quality control now. And that is why they made this change to the algorithm. So nowadays, if you want to really blow up on TikTok, you need to build TikTok's trust first, and then they're going to start to really push out your content. And like I said, there's way more people on the app now. So now there's just a much bigger opportunity for you to reach way more people. This also means that TikTok is going to start putting a lot more videos under review. I've been getting so many emails, so many DMs. Hey, my video is getting zero views. If your video gets zero views for the first three, four hours, even up to a day, the video is just under review. Do not stress it. Don't email me. Don't email TikTok. Don't DM me. There's nothing that anybody could do about it. All you have to do is wait for the video to get out of review. And the good news for you is that when TikTok puts videos in review, a lot a lot of times they'll boost that video even more when it's at a review or you'll get a delayed explosion. Which brings me to my next point. The delayed explosion is still happening right now. It's normally taking 12 to 24 hours to get a delayed explosion. Now, TikTok takes way longer to start to push out your content. You're not going to see your content really get pushed out most of the time for three to four hours now. That being said, you should not decrease the amount of times that you post. You should not wait that long in between posts. If you post something now and you want to post again in two hours, you should definitely do that. Do not wait for the video to get full fully pushed out, just keep on pushing out content, pushing out content, pushing out content. I really want to emphasize that this should not control the amount of volume that you put out. You should still put out as much content as you possibly can. And I'll talk more about that in a second. Before that, I did want to tell you guys about a little TikTok secret that you guys don't know about. Well, I lied. Some of you guys might know about this. So TikTok in the past has been giving the trending hashtags to their big creators before they actually made them trending hashtags. For those of you that are like
like, hey, why are there only big creators under the trending hashtags or how do they know what they are? This is exactly how they knew. They were getting an email newsletter that was telling them what the trending hashtags were so that they could use them before they started trending. That way they would get a ton of views. Good news is though, for small creators, the cat's out of the bag with this. TikTok has stopped doing this, so this won't be the case anymore. That is why so many big creators have stopped using hashtags. They've pretty much stopped using hashtags because they're trying to boycott the fact that TikTok is not giving them the trending hashtags. But what they don't understand is they're actually creating a huge opportunity for small creators to now come in, start to use the right hashtag strategy, and get a ton of views on their videos. And this means that now more than ever before, paying attention to the trends really matters. Now that I've given you guys all the updates with the latest TikTok algorithm update, I do want to give you guys a checklist so that you can make sure that your posts are doing good and they're what the algorithm wants. First, you need to make sure that your content is trending. It's got to be from the trending hashtags. It's got to be from your niche's hashtags, whatever posts are trending. It's got to be trending content. And if it's not trending, guess what? You're not going to get a lot of views. Yes, I totally understand you want to put out original content, but guess what? TikTok does not care. It wants trending content. Posts should be 13 to 17 seconds long. No longer, no shorter. I don't care what anybody else tells you. I don't care if you see creators that make 60 second videos that are successful. I strongly suggest your videos are 13 to 17 seconds long. Yes, I understand that shorter videos and longer videos get on the For You page, but I'm trying to give you guys generalized advice that'll help as many of you as possible, and that is the key to a lot of your guys' success. If you're going to edit your TikTok post somewhere else, be it in Rush or Adobe Premiere, wherever else, you're, or iMovie, wherever you guys edit it, you need to make sure that you upload it back into TikTok and do add some effects from TikTok. That being said, do not use music from anywhere else besides TikTok. If you do, it will get a copyright violation. The reason you need to do this is because TikTok does push out content that was created on the TikTok app, which is why you need to add a sound or something like that from the TikTok app. And then in addition to that, add some text on the screen or something else in the TikTok app. If your content does not look native to TikTok, then guess what? They're not going to push it out. The amount of engagement that you need has dropped slightly. Right now, you need 20 to 25% engagement to really get pushed out. That being said, shares and follows matter so much more now. So make sure you're incentivizing people to share and follow your stuff. I said that backwards, to follow you and share your stuff. Ideally right now, if you're not growing like a weed, you need to be posting three to four times every single day. Ideally, one of those posts will be a duet. Once you start to see some success and you see your conversion rate from likes to follows or follows to likes, whichever way it is, if your followers divided by your likes is above 15% or 0.15, what you need to do is post way more. You need to be posting 10 plus times a day. You're in the growth phase when that happens and you need to just put out more content. Currently, the best time to post is still from 10 to 1 and then after 7. The best ideal times are actually from 11.30 to 12.30 and then also from 8.30 to 9.30. That being said, the 3 to 5 p.m. slot has been crushing it for a lot of creators, so I suggest you guys check that out also. And I do want to emphasize, guys, TikTok is still the biggest opportunity in the world. If you want to change your life, you want to start a business, you want to get an audience, you want to launch a podcast, whatever you want to do, if you want to just fire everybody and become your own boss, TikTok is your opportunity to do that. And this brings me to my next point. What hashtags should you use? But before I get into that, I do want to tell you guys about two creators that are really crushing it within this new algorithm. Honestly, I'll say this straight up. They've been following me for a while. They've been taking my advice for a while. They did not see a lot of success until this new algorithm, and they're both smaller creators, which are now starting to see a lot of growth. I really think you guys should check them out if you want to learn more about this new algorithm. The first is at exercise for cheat meals. He's been following me for a long time. He puts out amazing food content, amazing workout content. You guys need to go check him out, drop him a follow, and really see that he's starting to crush it because, man, congrats. I looked and you were over 13,000 followers. Congrats. And if you guys are in the dance niche and want to know how you can make really good dance content, you guys need to check out Steph. I'm going to put her right here also. She's doing an amazing job within this new TikTok algorithm update. You guys need to go check her out and drop her a follow. Now for what hashtags you should use because honestly, this is one of the biggest opportunities with this new algorithm update and the news that broke about TikTok giving their biggest creators the trending hashtags before they actually came out. You guys need to be using two trending hashtags and then either two niche specific hashtags or two broad hashtags. That is the key. It should be four hashtags in total, no more, no less. And seriously guys, I want to emphasize so much to you that this is an absolutely incredible opportunity to grow on TikTok to grow everywhere. This new TikTok algorithm update will help small creators grow even more, I think. I don't think it's going to hurt you guys. 
Yes, you're gonna have to change some things up. No, you cannot just post random content now and automatically blow up. But this is the biggest opportunity ever and I really wanna help you guys take advantage of it. That is exactly why I've created the number one YouTube channel for you guys to learn how to grow on TikTok. I give away all this information for free. If you look below or to the left or I link out to my playlist in the description, you guys need to check it out. I've made videos about everything that you could ever think of when it comes to monetizing TikTok, posting on TikTok, growing on TikTok, all of these things. In addition, for those of you that are unhappy with your growth, I do have two paid programs that guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. This is not you dealing with somebody at a company. This is not fake followers. This is me helping you grow on TikTok personally. I have an accelerator program, which is seven days, and a mentorship program, which is 30 days. Both of them guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. If you don't grow, guess what? At the end of the program, you get your money back, no questions asked. If you guys are interested in that, I'm gonna link out to it in the description below. If not, make sure you just subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.